Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this underlined hover animation in Webflow. And we'll go over two different methods. The first one will be with native Webflow interactions. And the second one will be using a little bit of custom CSS. The first method in which we'll use native Webflow interactions is more suited towards link blocks and div blocks and buttons. Because in Webflow, it's you can easily set that to position relative and set the underline to position absolute on the bottom. The second method in which we'll use custom CSS is more suited towards inline text and nav links. So for the first method, I'm going to show you how we can add the underline to this link block right here where it says view our available listings and I have an arrow icon. So in this tutorial, I named this link block button hover line. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this button hover line to position relative. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a div. So I'm going to use the shortcut control E or command E on a Mac, I believe. I'm going to add in a div. And I'm going to name, I'm going to name this div underline. I'm going to set a position to absolute to the bottom. I'll give it a width of 100%. And I'll give it a height of 0.125 rem, or if you want, you can use two pixels. And then I'll give it a color. So I'll use the same color that I have for my highlight right here. So I'll go to the color. I'll use my eye picker tool. So, so far, all I have is the link block, and then I have this underlined added in. And if you want, you can even add some space to it. So we can go to underline. And we just bring this down. At 10%. So I have my button hover line and it has the underline. So now what we're going to do is with this selected, we're going to go to our interactions tab and we're going to set up a mouse hover interaction. And we're just going to have this for the desktop and above because it's a mouse hover. We'll have it applied to the class of button hover line. And we're going to start an animation. And we'll call this one underline animation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select this underline and we're going to adjust the size, we're going to set the size width to 0% at the initial state. And then we're going to have an end state. We're going to have it grow up to a width of 100%. We'll set some easing. So I'll use out court. And I'll have a duration of one second. And if we preview, so we'll save, and now we'll do the hover out, start animation, and then we'll duplicate this. Go to the settings. We'll name this underline animation out. We'll go to the first one that was our initial state. We'll uncheck set as initial state. Make the easing out court. Duration of one. And then we'll just delete the second one. Go ahead and hit save. And if we preview it, there it is. And you can adjust the line to your liking. You can make it two pixels, you can make it one pixel. So if I was to go in and now make this, for example, one pixel, we'll have something that looks like this. So that was the interaction using native Webflow interactions. Now I'll show you how you can do it with a little bit of custom CSS and apply it to these nav links. So these nav links have a class of nav underscore link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in embed. So I'm going to do control E. I'm going to drop in an embed. And I'm going to first do the style tags.
So in this, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to target the nav underscore link. So I'm going to go dot nav link. Open it up. And inside of that, we're going to have it display the inline block position relative and then that will be our nav links so we'll move this up and in the next one we're going to set a pseudo class for the nav link after so this is going to come after the nav link so we're going to go dot nav underscore link colon after another curly braces and we're going to, first we need to add a content. So we're going to say content. And we're just going to do an empty string. And we're going to add position. Absolute. We're going to give it a width of 0%. And a height of 0 0.125 rem. I go bottom, be 0. And left, be 0. And then background color, we're going to use the same background. We're going to use the same color as our text. So we'll go background color. And then for the transition, since I don't want to get into the cubic busy and I don't have it saved right now, I'm just going to do a transition of ease out. So I'm going to go transition. With. Say 0 0.5 seconds. Ease out. And now we need just one more. So we'll go dot nav underscore link. It's again colon hover. And then another colon after. Open this with curly braces. And we're going to go with 100%. So we'll save and close. And now if I go to my nav links, we have the underline. So there it is. That's how you do the underline effect, both using native Webflow interactions and a little bit of custom CSS. I'll leave the code in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.